Some wonder the, uh, if the vaccine distribution is fair across the state and specifically here in North Texas. Andrea Lucia is exploring that question for us tonight. On its first day open, Dallas County's new mega site vaccinated almost 1,800 North Texans. It wasn't as bad as some of the shots I get at the doctor's office. <laughs> its location here at Fair Park is intended to improve access to the vaccine. We want to make sure that our most underserved communities are taken care of. The state's interactive map of providers show there have been a few options in Dallas south of I-30, and before today, just one in the entire southeast side of the city. And yet county maps show South Dallas is where you'll find the zip codes in darkest blue to predominantly Hispanic areas with the city's most cases of COVID-19. There actually has been an improvement of communication and explanation about exactly what's going on. At a press conference in Arlington this morning, the governor insisted the state is learning from some of its early stumbles in the vaccine rollout. This week, it announced 28 hubs statewide where the majority of Texas's first dose allotment will now go. A Texan is not limited to getting a vaccine only in the county in which they live. A Texan is capable and able to receive a vaccine in any county in the state of Texas. North Texans, though, trying to register at UT Southwestern, a designated hub receiving 10,000 doses, found it's only vaccinating those who've been patients within the last three years. The Department of State Health Services told us its hubs can't do that. And the hospital this afternoon said it is working quickly on updated plans for broader distribution. People have reported having the same issue with Parkland Hospital. We reached out but have not yet received a response. And Denton County was limiting its vaccines to county residents. But it changed that as of last night. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you.